Today we're checking out the Method Archery VBS, it's variable blade system. I shot my bear with one of these. I very much like these broadheads, I'll tell you that right off the bat. I'm interested to see how that translates over to testing. What's cool about these is it's a 100 grain broadhead and there's a lot of cut going on. It's a, I believe it's a one and a quarter inch main blade by one and an eighth inch bleeder. I like all that cut, makes me happy. <laughs> Yeah, makes me happy. What a goofball. Anywho, you can get them for about $64 a three pack when they are in stock. Right now I'm on the website and seeing they're out of stock, which is unfortunate because I need more of them. Anyways, let's see how they do in testing. There's your answer on leather. You're looking at one and a quarter by one and an eighth. As far as wound channel is concerned, you got a blade there. You see the bottom of that blade there, and then there's a the top of a blade here. And because of the angle, it's tough to see the top. There's your cut. I mean, it's a big hole, and it's a nice wound channel. It's exactly what I'd expect. Before I tell you exactly what I think about this Vector VBS, I want to cover something. At the end of this video, you saw two sharpness tests where it's normally I go through all the testing and then I test it again to look for edge retention. Well, the second one you saw, that broadhead actually went through a black bear in Montana. It was never shot through anything else. And the reason I added that in here is now you can compare the damage my testing does to the blades versus the damage of going through an animal. You can kind of see if there's some correlation there or not. You know, to me that's very important and I like doing those tests so I understand if my testing kind of mimics what's going on. Now, as far as this broadhead goes, I very much like this broadhead. It's very solid. It's got nice big four blade cut that I'm very happy with. My biggest complaint with the Vector VBS is it seems like they don't have stuff in stock very often. Um, right now, like I'd love to buy another three pack. I can't because you can't get the bleeder blades right now. So. For the money, I think it's a great broadhead, if you can get them. 